Hey everyone, today I'm going to become a game developer, but there's a small problem. I don't know how to code, like at all, but fear not. I've got ChatGPT here, and together we're going to code the next big hit, or at least something that works. Okay, ChatGPT, let's make a game like Mario. Yeah, okay, whatever this is, let's skip all the boring stuff and get straight to the code. First of all, it looks like I need to install something named Pygame. I will try to do that now. After about an hour of Googling and talking with ChatGPT, we finally got it installed. Everything else should be easy, right? Let's start by making a file named Mario. At least I know this much. Now let's copy the code and then try to run it. Hmm, okay, very interesting. Let me ask ChatGPT what to do about this. It has given me a new code. Let me try to run this and see if it works. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game, but it's quite boring right now. A nice background should make it a lot better. Let's ask ChatGPT for a good background and how to implement it with code. Because like you know, I have zero idea what I am doing right now and how this is even working. Okay, this is a lot better. Now maybe let's ask ChatGPT to provide us with a character. This block thing really isn't so appealing. I'm not sure if this will work out, but let's try it anyway. Well, it definitely did not work. Let's let it know our thoughts and move on. I think it is best to go back to the red square and continue from there. Now I think we should add some platforms. Also, we need a jumping function to get on those platforms. Let's see if ChatGPT can provide us with these add-ons, or will it also be extremely cursed? Through divine miracles, it works. Now we can move from left to right and also jump on the platforms. We even got a little speedrunning hack going on if you jump under the middle platform. This is getting good now. I am very proud of the game I have created, but let's make it even better. We should make it so you can move forward and also add more platforms to jump on. Enemies would be cool too. And congratulations, we broke it again. But I think the previous version we did was good enough, especially for someone who only knows a little bit of HTML and CSS. Stay tuned for the sequel, Red Square IO and the quest for basic UI elements. Would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed for more AI-related videos and content. Until next time, guys. See you in the next video.